YouTube, what it do, man? It's your man, Fitness FX, bringing you another live and direct video. Uh, so basically, I ended up getting in a trade here for uh, two trades. I say it's about uh, 0.40 because I got in on two trades. Um, right now, it's doing good. I'm at like 18 pips. But it's also the beginning of the New York session, which is going to be a little skittish. I'm hoping that it is on a strong bearish. If you look at the RSI and you look at the awesome oscillator, it's right there headed into the downside. Like it's right there. If you look at where I'm putting the signs, it's right there. So I'm at 22 pips right now. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get a good live trade for all traders to see. Again, I'm gonna show y'all exactly where I'm at. It's GU, like always, on a minute 15. I'm hoping it consolidated right here, as you can see, it didn't really do too much. But now I'm hoping that it pours and it gives me a strong sell in the bearish market. Because again, like I said, the RSI is at that 50 point awesome oscillator is almost at that zero point and then we already have the stochastic showing that it's going to be in a bearish market but we already know how these markets go none of this means anything the market is going to do what it want to do so i'm hoping that i'm right like i said right now it's showing a little resistance right there because it's right there barely passing that 50 point but I'm hoping that we can get it to bleed for us. There's a minute and 51 seconds left to this last bearish candle right here. As you can see, there's a kangaroo tail right here that had no momentum up to the upside. So it should be bearish. I'm hoping that it's bearish. So let's see what the market provides for us. I'm hoping that it's going to give us exactly what we're looking for and I can go ahead and get this on a live so I can post this to you guys so you can witness it for yourself and be the judge of the trading technique like I told you guys that I would have for you. All right. Stay tuned. I'll be back. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm not going to keep it rolling, but it's there. And if you haven't noticed in my videos, if you stay and watch to the end, you see me doing the closing of these trades. So you don't just hear me talking, you will see them close if you stay tuned to these videos. YouTube, I'm back at it. It's your man, Fitness FX. Like I said, I was gonna show y'all. Currently at 26 pip, or was at 26 pip, 25. 26 no 25 26 pips uh the market is barely moving into where it's gonna go it's it's gonna go down you know it's gonna go down but you know me i'm doing this for y'all i need to take the profits on camera i'm trying to show y'all that it's it's easy to be profitable. The reason why people are not profitable in the Forex market is because they do not take profit when profit is given. So right now it's been in a strong bearish trend. I'm expecting it to stay in a strong bearish trend. Um, you know, honestly, I might just stay in, but look at it. It's in a strong bearish trend. I'm at 27 pips right now. Uh, you know, I could be greedy and say, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let it get to 30 pips. I'm gonna go ahead and let it get it to 40 pips. I'm gonna try to break a record today or something like that. I don't know how people do this. It's that, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But I gotta do the specifics. So I'll talk it through. GU on the 15 minute. I got into a bearish market. I was looking for a sell off of GU. Again, the awesome oscillator hasn't even turned to the downside to let everybody know it's in the sell into a bearish market. 
The stochastic still hasn't gotten down past at least the middle of the marker. And also, it still hasn't gotten to a sale into the bearish market. But again, I'm at 29 pips, almost 30 pips. And I haven't even showed y'all everything yet. 32 pips, you know, it's still and the market is still going. The market's still young. You know, I'm at 30 pips plus, you know, usually like you got 30 pips, you know, you got 30 dips, you know, <laughs> like no way you got 30 pips, like not in these markets, like the markets don't even work like that, bro, bro. But I'm going to show you all this right now. Boom, boom. Look at that. Y'all see it? Can't make it up. Y'all see it? And the market's still going. It's not, it's not even done yet. It's not even done yet. That's just one, that's just one order right there. That's just one order. I told you I had like a 0.40. They go to second order right there. Too easy. Um, like I said, the market is somewhat predictable. Can you get into these markets and kill? You can. Like it's still, it's still going, it's, it's, it's bleeding. It's bleeding. But you know what happens with these? When these bleed, and they turn to wicks, and then they go back to the same spot, and then the market shoots up. But I just wanted to show my uh, subscribers that I don't have yet. <laughs> this is what you can get in the market. Too easy. There should be no reason why anybody's having a hard time struggling. Collect profits when you can collect profits. If you choose to stay in, you choose to stay in. That's your business. There's only five minutes left on this candle. I felt like it was an opportune time. I already had like 30 pips in. I took profits just so the viewers can see that I'm not over here pulling any games or schemes. All right. Hey, what's up, you guys? I noticed that I was extremely zoomed out. So I'm just gonna try to make it as clear as I possibly can. So I got in for a sell on this candle right here. Is it this one? Yeah, this candle right here, I got in for a sell position. And uh, we collected profits here. Got me about 29 pips. The move is barely getting into the sell. Again, this is the GU pair on the 15 minute time frame. I noticed that, like I said, when I showed you guys that the graphics wasn't too well, so I'm showing it in, zoom, in a zoomed up picture, it's still GU and just had to zoom in for a little bit. What's going on YouTube? Look at this trade. Like I told y'all, it was still going a whole nother candle ladle. This right here would have gave us at least another 20 pips. Another 20 pips right there. As you see, stochastic hit the 20 mark. The RSI finally went into a bearish market. And that's how you get in with these trades. You get into these trades. That's what you're looking for. I'm going to try something different. This is what I want to do. What I want to do is try to get into these trades. And then I'll use the RSI to get out of the markets. As soon as the bearish candle, the uh, a strong bearish candle gets in, then I'd get out. But I just wanted y'all to see, like, hey, look, it had a whole nother candlestick of, of juice to go. Um, took profits here on this candle, which gave me 30 pips from about here to here was about 30 pips. This could have gave us another 20 pips. And it's probably most likely still going for a sell. Um, it is the London, New York session. So expect the pullback.
at the end of the New York, the end of the London session, beginning, uh, the end of the, the London session. I said it right. And the end of the London session. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Oh, man. This is where it was at. Look at that. Still going. Beautiful trade. Beautiful, beautiful trade. I call it a beautiful trade. Yeah, I seen me already take profits. All right, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.